What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a long time. It's been like two months and I know a lot of you are wondering, hey, you just picked up a Porsche. Why are you not making any content on it? Well, that's largely just because the car has actually been in the shop for like the past month. There's an issue with the AC unit, uh, something about like the extractor valve leaking and it was leaking all this stuff. Anyways, it wasn't working. It was throwing check engine lights. And the dealership was really, really backed up, so it's just been in the shop for a very, very long time. So now I finally have the car back, and today we're gonna be doing a little bit, a little small mod on it, nothing crazy. It's really, we're just gonna be replacing the tweeters in the dashboard with uh, some more high-end tweeters. I just went with the base audio system, as many of you guys, actually no, you guys probably don't know because I haven't released my build yet. But anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're replacing the, the tweeters uh, in the car just to see if it'll be a better sound. So we'll go ahead, I'll show you guys how to do that. There actually hasn't been many videos on how to do this online, which I was really surprised about. So this will be the first one. So uh, yeah, let's start. All right, so here we're going to check out what it sounds like with the stock base audio system first. We'll install the tweeters and we'll see if it changes anything. So that's basically the standard sound system. Honestly, is not bad at all. For those of you who maybe own a Volkswagen, like a GTI, you might notice it sounds very similar and that's probably, I've not confirmed this at all, but I'm guessing it's pretty much the same system that they have in that GTI. They both sound really good. Crisp low end, decent highs. You know, we're just gonna see how these tweeters make them better. So here, are the Burmester tweeters. So, interestingly enough, these are not the dashboard tweeters. Um, you have to buy the rear tweeters, which is weird, but I guess it's because of like the size that they use and whatnot, whatever. So, tools that we have to use is gonna be pick tool to remove the vent, trim removal tool, and then a pick tool, and a flathead screwdriver just to kind of like help get the old tweeters out. So. Let's go ahead and start doing that, and hopefully I don't mess up my car. Okay, so, gotta get this in there. Oh, that's actually not too bad. You know, I thought this was gonna be a little bit more tight, but it's not, so that's cool. So I have to, you know, they always make this look so much easier online. Starting to come up, and then people online said lift up and pull forward. Of which, how am I supposed to pull forward? Oh, there we go. Look at that. That actually wasn't too bad. Okay, cool. Look at it, and look at that. Okay, yeah, wow. So this is the vent. Comes out in one piece, or it should. And then, in here, we have the original tweeter. It looks like there are two tabs, which I have to uh, kind of... Oh God. Okay, I finally got this this out, the, the tweeter, the old tweeter. So, uh, the hardest part is honestly these two tabs right here. There's one here and one here. They're metal, so they're like, and they're really, really stiff, but it's essentially what holds the tweeter in place the entire time. So, now we're gonna remove this and then put the new tweeter in. Okay, so now I have to remove this. This little tab is what the pick tool is for. Put it in this little hole, and you just kind of get it out, and boom, easy. So now we're opening up this Burmester tweeter. So honestly, they 
They look similar, but this definitely has like some more heft to it. A little bit thicker. I'm sure the wiring's a little bit different and whatever. So we're gonna install it. Let's see what it sounds like. So simple just Okay, so because the connections are a little bit different, we need to trim off this little tab. This is what people were saying. They said it shouldn't be too hard to trim off. Okay, so I've set the Burmester tweeter in. Now these little two tabs on the side here, they don't actually rise up to meet this one. So this is gonna stick out a little bit more, but it is pretty snug, so I don't really see that moving anywhere. So now, I'm gonna put this back in. This should technically just slide back in. Don't wanna ruin the foam. There you go. Not too bad. Cool. All right. Passenger side. Let's do it. Okay, passenger side. Same thing. Just stick it in. Oh, this one's looser. Find the grip. And then kind of pull towards you until it's loose in the back and then it should just slide right out. This is honestly the easiest like removal. Okay, so now we have to do this stupid clip thing. I'm gonna use a smaller stubby screwdriver because I found this actually worked a little bit better. So push that back and then push that back. Okay, this side was a lot easier for some reason, but you know what? Fine. Once it comes out like that, then just pull it out. And then just like before, I'm gonna let a little trim pick tool in this middle hole here. Push and pry. Cool, easy. Okay, one thing I didn't show you guys on the last side, so because the connections are a little bit different, there's this little tab here, this little white tab here on the side. So we just need to cut that off. So let's take some sharp kitchen shears. Make sure you don't cut any of the wires or yourself. Please don't cut yourself. There you go. Now that's off. And take our new Burmester tweeter. This should fit right in. Yep. There we go. And then this just drops back in here like this. Easy. And then we just put the then back on, make sure you don't ruin the foam. There you go, and this should just slide forward. And there you go, that was easy. Nice. Look at that, easy. This took me like an hour because I'm bad at my hand. All right, so here's the test with the Burmester tweeters. Let's see how it sounds. So it definitely sounds clear. I don't know if you guys can cap can hear that on camera. Probably not. Uh, it's it's a minute difference. It's not like a, a huge. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hard to directly A B it because you know we listened to it and then we swapped everything. But it definitely feels like it's a lot clearer. 
a little bit more precise on the on the notes I guess or the frequencies but uh, yeah I think it sounds pretty good and for $150 I think it's a decently worthwhile upgrade especially if you have the bass sound system like I do but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video very quick and easy install cool little mod uh, I, I like finding these small little mods for the GT4 because to be perfectly honest this car is so incredibly capable out of the box I don't really want to do things like you know suspension and tune and all that stuff because I largely feel like this this car is just it's so incredibly good out of the fact out of the yeah from the factory that we don't need to um, and until I can get myself uh, you know driving experience wise to a level where I can really like Utilize everything that this car has to offer. Um, I'm not gonna touch Anything crazy yeah, at the very most I think I'm gonna do like wheels and tires, right? So like a set of track wheels specifically, but other than that I want to try to take this car stock at, at least once or twice and then uh, we'll see But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video See you guys on the next one